I always say to people, anyone can print a t-shirt. This was the first t-shirt that I ever printed. And then the second t-shirt I printed went to shit. <laughs> and that's everything you need to know about screen printing. It's like, it's doing it consistently is the yeah. problem. Like actually doing it, it's not that hard, but yeah. doing it consistently, that's the challenge. So yeah, this is exciting. It is. Yeah, this is as, long as, face. as long as I don't mess it up, because uh, there's, I don't like, like I say, I don't know how to screen print. I uh, just taught myself. And um, so if there's any actual screen printers watching this, I'm just doing it like this as a joke. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So uh, yeah, don't look too close. So you've done, you've done a bit. Like ink. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Because the stuff that I used, it was like chalky. It was yeah, really yeah. weird. This is a bit gritty. <laughs> Right. But you can see it's like three months. It wasn't a huge right, amount okay, of time. Cool. Yeah. Um, yeah, and it took, so you, when you do a crowdfunder, we did it as an all or nothing. In a long, long way to go. <laughs> Not as old as some people. Win, <laughs> but, <yeah. laughs> so, bikes. Well, yeah. no, your cars, did it start with cars for you or bikes? Yeah, kind of. I think um, I, as a child, I had like a, a, a scrambler and stuff which is mad really that my parents let me have a scrambler and because you can't drive a car around as a child um and then but i think cars were my first love so that was kind of um that was what i got into first of all like via kind of old vws and stuff like yeah. that and um yeah i kind of came to motorcycles much later in life really when i was around you know kind of mid 30s really it's not right. not that long you know yeah. i was always into into cars and stuff like that and um i think i needed to be sensible before i yeah. um started playing with motorcycles or riding motorcycles certainly i think if i'd if i had started when i was any younger i would you know i would have yeah totally myself quite yeah badly, you know? yeah no so, totally yeah. I, I'm, I'm kind of the same i got my license kind of later on in mm. life we like mucked around on bikes and stuff, but I mean, if I was riding one full time back then, because mm. we used to do silly things like, I remember we had a Ninja, mm. like a 900 Ninja that like five of us all chipped in to buy. Mm. And we all share it and we do mental things like, you know, going down the dual carriageway and like the pillion would like lean over and like knock on the car windows and yeah, then we'd yeah. fucking, yeah. yeah. So I'm glad that, I, yeah. I'm glad yeah. I got that out of my system. Yeah, totally. Like before yeah. I was kind of, um, compelled to start with motorcycles but yeah. even when i did modes like got into motorcycles i you know someone once said to me like if you could either ride motorcycles or like tinker with them and build them like you could only do one what would you do and i probably wouldn't ride them I'd yeah probably build them and that's kind of how i got into motorcycles like building um cars is quite overwhelming you yeah. know they're a big old thing um and when you're doing it on your own as well it can be quite dangerous when you're underneath them and stuff yeah, like that you know it's a it's a big you know big commitment you need a big lot of space and and all that kind of stuff and it, it can be quite overwhelming when you look at a big machine and be like christ there's a lot of yeah. metal there yeah. whereas motorcycles um i kind of just bought one on a whim in, in when we had our old warehouse with my wife's business and just started building this um, little Honda calf racer thing, as it, cool. as it were. And I had no influence from anyone else at all. Like, yeah. um, I didn't look at motorcycles. I didn't, like, yeah. I was influenced by absolutely nothing. I think I said to Dan, if I do anything really douchey, just tell me not to do it, right? Yeah. And he was like, no, nah, that's fine. <laughs> and um, basically built what is like, the the calf race that everyone builds now. I'm not saying yeah. I came up with the idea, but um, I totally came up <laughs> but, with the yeah. idea. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and it's uh, still in the uh, still in Jess's suit shop now. Still Is it? There. Yeah, yeah. Oh, cool. And I kind of built it, and I was like, oh. piece of history there. Like, yeah, yeah, the totally. first cafe yeah, racer. Yeah, it is the very first cafe <laughs> racer. It's very expensive yeah. if anyone wants to buy it. Um, and uh, it, and I was like, oh well, I should probably ride it. Then. Yeah, and yeah. Um, I kind of decided like went and got my bike license and it was a fucking tiny thing anyway i yeah. mean i make most motorcycles look stupid anyway yeah. yeah but that especially so i was like oh i better get something big how tall are you six four yeah 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 yeah, yeah. um I, but i don't but you know i look i don't look good with six four do you know what i mean like now some people <laughs> look like they've belong in like a big frame i look yeah. like like in that film big when the guy becomes a, an adult and isn't really sure what to do with himself i'm like, <laughs> I like that. I was still trying to work out my limbs and stuff like that. So, um, and so it was just a natural progression. And I think, 
what has ended with Boyd's becoming more of a bike brand is, is I think, and I don't want to sound really, you know, I don't want to sound really lame about this, but it is kind of the strength of community around yeah. motorcycles. Yeah, no, hundred no, percent. No, yeah, you know, I yeah. think um, as much as I'm still very, very passionate about cars, there just isn't, in my experience, there isn't the same level of um, community and support and and so, uh, as much social. Uh, or, 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 or I just don't think it's as friendly. I can imagine it being so much bigger though. Cars, yeah, totally, dr- yeah. Like it's yeah. Uh, Everyone has that, a fucking yeah, car. Maybe you know I mean? Yeah, maybe it's that. Maybe that it's almost overwhelmingly big. Yeah, and yeah. So where's your access point? Um, but even like I was in like Volkswagen Club for a while, and people just don't get along. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. And I'm just like, ugh, I don't. <laughs> I, I'm not interested in any sort of drama or any yeah. sort of politics or anything like that. So I removed myself. Yeah from that and and it became a very personal passion that i just did myself and no one else i knew was interested in in cars Mm -hmm. um until really yeah like five or well six six seven years ago i guess yeah i met dan at a car meet in hitchin um run by a friend of mine called felix at h town and um we met and i had a, a rooftop beetle at the time and um we just got chatting there and that's like the love of my life. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Apart from obviously my actual love of my life, uh, Jess, my wife. But um, <laughs> we, and he had lots of friends into cars and motorcycles. He's got a very strong hot rod heritage, like yeah. his family. And this is Dan who chose to be on his honeymoon yeah, rather yeah, than... Yeah, planned it around, yeah, to yeah. avoid this. Which is yeah. nuts, really, isn't it? Selfish Absolutely. bastard. To get married <laughs> I just know, yeah. for that as well. Jesus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you so got a fucking that. show to run. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly, yeah. Um, so, yeah, so he... With him, I, I had a friend who I could share that with. And that's, yeah. you know, that's really, you know, I loved that. I really loved that. Yeah, I totally. suddenly felt like I had something that um, uh, that I, I don't know, it's a sense of belonging, isn't it? Really? Yeah, no, 100%. And that's what everyone yeah. wants. And we, were, we were talking about that before and we touched on it briefly. Like, I think now, because you, you asked, like, do I think that the chopper scene, scene whatever, you know, is, is growing in the UK? Mm. And, I, and I said, I don't know. I don't know. I, I kind of, like, cut it off straight away. And mm. After I've kind of thought about it, I mean, I think now more than ever, after everything that's happened with the pandemic and everything, mm-hmm. people have, they're wanting, like, some sort of sense of belonging. They yeah. w- and they want to be a part of something that, that, you know, maybe not necessarily a group, but just mm-hmm. part of, like, a fucking... Similar interests. Yeah, you know I mean? yeah, yeah. I think it's just you know, it's something to occupy the, your time as well. Yeah, totally. Do you know what I mean? Like you yeah. need something that isn't work. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, that bit of escapism. And I think motorcycles, my first love when it came to motorcycles was that first time you go on your bike and you're like, oh shit, this isn't driving a car actually. This yeah. is a very visceral experience. And I have to it's kind of a bit similar sometimes with driving really sketchy old classic cars like the one we just went out in, yeah uh, is you can't you can't be distracted like, yeah totally you have to yeah. be on it and, yeah. and there's yeah. nothing like clearing your mind than yeah. not being able to think about anything else totally you know I mean? yeah. and I bills think, don't matter fucking yeah. yeah yeah work doesn't matter it's yeah you have yeah. to just concentrate on not dying yeah exactly yeah, yeah. yeah. and i think to, to to this day really i don't do group rides or anything like that no. i'm not i'm not I, I love going to meets yeah. and I love going to shows, but like I'm not really interested in riding along in a big group. Don't yeah. really yeah, do yeah. it for me. Um, yeah. I just I don't have to worry about anyone else. Really. Yeah, totally. Like, oh, totally yeah, like, I get it, yeah. Anyone I know broke down, I'll just fucking leave them there. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> that's on you, mate. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, I'm, only, I'm only joking, <laughs> of course. But Sucks to be you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it is like, it's, that's not why I'm, what I'm yeah. doing. Or really, maybe I am. I don't know. That made me sound like a real asshole. <laughs> uh, Tell us about Boyd's. So, for anyone who doesn't know, yeah, Boyd's of Bedford. Yeah, Boyd's is like, uh, how can you describe it? I, I, I've tried to describe it a million times, but I guess it's a, um, it's a, I, once upon a time I'd call it a t shirt business, but it isn't anymore. It's, it's more of a workwear business. Um, we do, Everything we do, I guess, the focus is on making it hardware and high quality and all that kind of stuff. And uh, it's, yeah, it's a clothing business, first and foremost, I suppose, really, for people who aren't cool. (laughs) It's like, you know how, like, good brands take a shit product and market it really well? Yeah. We, like, take a really good product and then market it really badly. Fuck all the, yeah. (laughs) It's like, we like to do things differently. Uh, And so, yeah, we... 
um, everything, like I'd screen print everything here in house and do a lot of all. You know, I used to do it, make everything in house, but it, it's just me on my own. As the business has grown, I've not been able to do quite as much. But we do salvage denim, we do work pants, we do work vests, we do everything with a focus on on quality. Um, and I suppose our kind of tagline is made by hand, inspired by machine, because ultimately yes, it's yeah, it is still very much tied into our passion for. Um, bikes and cars or at least it is to the uh, inland revenue when we try and pay for as much stuff as we can <laughs> through the business really and it allows us to have this workshop yeah, like yeah. this big workshop like two and a half thousand square foot is really paid for by about like like 20 square foot <laughs> yeah. of space so it kind of funds that really but I think these days you can't or certainly not someone with no marketing knowledge or mm -hmm. no coolness or no famous friends <laughs> you can't start a clothing business without being like attached to something else people yeah, don't totally. want to just go and buy a faceless brand made yeah, by course. someone in like a glass office who's drawn a nice picture on um their ipad and stuck on a t-shirt i think that's yeah. that the days of that are over now yeah um so it's 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 as much about the bike meets that we do and and, and, and attending shows and just turning up to stuff and supporting um people trying to do good stuff yeah that I think it's a it's kind of a virtuous circle and it's almost there's like a in my head it doesn't always work but it's like we hope to contribute something to locally you know doing meets and stuff like that and then people come along to boy stuff and maybe they'll pick up a t-shirt and stuff yeah. like that but you know it's growing man I think our sales were up like 280 percent on the year like last Amazing. year yeah um so it's definitely going in the right direction and eventually I'll work out how to freaking do it it's crazy that it's you're the <laughs> it's just you yeah you know what i mean like uh, i know you know dan's obviously a partner but i mean it's crazy that it's just you back there mm. just printing all these t-shirts because from an outsider like you wouldn't think so like yeah. it, it, it do you know what i mean it's 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 such high quality stuff and the fucking everything about it, it's so fucking good mm. I, I just yeah oh, when really you told nice me to i couldn't i couldn't believe that it's just you yeah. back there just slaving away yeah it, it, yeah and and that's it's I, you know I think there's something must be something quite nice and I think I'd imagine whatever you do um, you know you've had t-shirts or, or anyone who, who who makes anything if you ever see someone wearing a product of yours mm. like what a great feeling yeah. what a great buzz and for me it's like I think it's amplified a little bit more because I've my hands have been on that yeah, thing yeah, as well course. you know I mean yeah. like I've made it and 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 that it means a huge amount to me when that happens um, and it still doesn't happen very much it's such a crowded market. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, true. Um, yeah. It, it's like anything though. Like everything's saturated now. Yeah, with, yeah. with the internet, like it doesn't. There's no new ideas. There's not. There's yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything's fucking. There's a million people doing everything. Yeah, you know, I think especially with t-shirts. Like we started with t-shirts. I taught myself to, to print t-shirts so we could do t-shirts. And um, but these days, everyone makes t-shirts. Yes, yeah, yeah. everyone. Like if we go to a show, every bike builder tattooists yeah. jewelry maker like everyone's got a t-shirt yeah do you know yeah, what i mean totally. like, so you're flogging a dead horse to an extent yeah if you go oh we're a closed business we do t-shirts like yeah everyone does t-shirts yeah, yeah, like yeah, my, yeah. My, yeah. my fucking cleaner does t-shirts yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's uh and it's fine for me because i print quite a lot of them like i remember yeah. like one trip i was like <coughs> pretty much if you buy a t-shirt at this show i'm getting money one way or another yeah, do you know yeah, what I mean? Whether yeah it's from yeah. us or like three people yeah, there, yeah. who i've printed stuff for um and i think that's kind of it's why we've moved away from that and more into, you know, workwear and stuff like that. And ultimately, I'm not a graphic designer, really. If you if you want to do t-shirts, you, yeah. you, you be a graphic designer. I'm yeah. a, I'm a clothing designer. Like yeah. I actually, yeah, that's why I studied. Yeah, I'm a pattern cutter. Like yeah. I, for our jeans, I cut the patterns and right. you know I I design them all. And I, I the jacket that's over there, like that's the first iteration. It looks fucking yeah. terrible right now, but I will develop that and and, and develop the patterns and stuff yeah, like that so. to create the the shapes and, and and the stuff that we want to do and and i think that actually is is more probably where i want boys to go in the future yeah, really yeah i love that direction that it's taken just Thanks, like just man. since like just mm. since meeting you it's yeah. i feel like i've watched it take a yeah, different direction yeah yeah, yeah. yeah and, and, really like and the response to that's been really positive i think part that of it that is, the, the the overshirts like yeah. the native pattern like yeah. did so did you design that so I sourced the fabric. Unfortunately, yep. I didn't. I wish I did design the fabric. Some, said, yeah. I, people, like, it's funny enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I absolutely did. <laughs> I, wo I wo 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 wove it, wove it, wove it, <laughs> wo weaved, weaved. Or Back wove. there with your spin. I don't yeah, know. The spindle? spindle? Do you do it with spindle? spindle? It on yeah. A wover. yeah. 
Um, yeah, um, and it's funny because the thing is, we've we've already had like someone sent me the other day, like someone's got the fabric that I used. And yeah, I've seen that one. Yeah, 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 did you? Like yeah. Someone sent me that, and you I was dick. like, yeah, Thief. and I was like, it's <laughs> fine. We'll stop. And generally, yeah. my response is, we'll stop doing that one. Then we'll do something else. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, because I worked in fashion. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah. I know how this stuff works. I yeah. worked for ASOS. It doesn't get worse than that. <laughs> like for ripping off other people. Yeah, of course. Yeah, definitely. So who who would yeah. I be um, yeah. to, to help people not do that? It's my job to to move on a bit but it's yeah. interesting i think like someone we we put on a winter show called the winter blast and we invite people to submit their bikes for it and which sucks i know I, I, the, the bit that sucks is getting people to apply to show their bikes we can only fit about 30 in there which yeah. is takes up quite a lot of space so inevitably there's people who you have to say no to yeah and they get butt hurt yeah well i've seen your video recently yeah so, yeah, yeah yeah and it's yeah. like we're into choppers and uh, classic bikes, um, bob, you know, bobbers, etc. And to a lesser extent, uh, uh, cafe races, yep. like I invented, and uh, <laughs> like anything stuff that's got an interesting story. So if someone puts forward their like stock sports bike, then I have to say no, I don't want to do that. And and I saw like a comment from someone said, oh, I'd go to this show, but they don't think our bike's cool enough. My my bike's cool enough, and it's yeah. like. Mate, I'm 41 years old, man. Yeah. Like, I don't decide what's cool. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. My seven-year-old has more of an idea of what's yeah. cool than I am. Like, <laughs> and I think Boyd's is probably a bit of a reflection of that. Like, your tastes are generally established probably when you're like in your 20s and 30s. Yeah. And it, it's a reflection of that. Like, it's pretty timeless. Yeah, what I wear, what I was wearing in my early 20s, it, I mean, at the time was edgy. Yeah, I was yeah, edgy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like uh, just inventing yeah, these yeah, trends. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> just like that. Banging them but, out. Yeah, I invented the uh, the iPod. <laughs> you that. Um, but you know, it's now. I think it is. Can't stop coughing. <coughs> Fuck. Sorry. Yeah, Sorry, right, man. <laughs> uh, Covid. You like it's pretty timeless stuff. Do you know yeah. what I mean? That's yeah, lovely. Yeah. Like I've yeah. designed one pair of jeans, and people are like, "Oh, are you can do other cuts." And I'm like, "No, because there are no other cuts for me." Because yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. 41 years old. <laughs> <laughs> so if skinny jeans come back in, <laughs> I'll be sticking with it. I Thank think you you've much. got you, you've got something there though, like that you're not just chasing. That's part of the reason I really love your like company and brand is you're not just like chasing the money. Mm. You know what I mean? Like yeah, you, you, yeah. You, you know what's good, you know what you like, and you just stay in true to that. And yeah. I really appreciate and respect that. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? I, I don't yeah. know. I just. Yeah. You're not selling out. Do you no, know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. I mean, I fucking would sell out, like, in a <laughs> second. Like, if, if I could. <laughs> Come no, on, ASOS. Yeah, please. <laughs> no, like, no, I, would, I wouldn't. You're absolutely yeah. right. And, and, like, mm. my, like, people who actually know how to run businesses have asked me about what my plan for Boyd's is before. Like, um, a really good guy called uh, Casey who runs uh, Gold Top. All those guys, Casey and Joe, have always been really supportive to Boyd's. And uh, every time I see them, they're like, so what's, what are you doing with that <laughs> business then? And I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't know. <laughs> you know it's like, I look cool as fuck though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's like, <laughs> but it's just me, man. I remember, it's just, because when people are like, you should do so-and-so, I'm like, that's cool. But there's no extra time in the day. Yeah, of course. So yeah. I can only really do what's what I can do. Yeah. And... Yeah. This is it, really. And I think I'm still really excited about the future for Boyd's. Currently, as I've, I've said to you, like I've never paid myself a penny out of Boyd's. Like, I've That's never. crazy. How long has it been going for? Five years. So we yeah. just ticked over five years, yeah. like a couple of weeks ago. So that is dedication. It's mad, isn't it? <laughs> it's mad. And because sometimes I've thought I could literally, I, like I lie in bed in the morning, I think I could literally just soil myself now in bed and not go to work and I'd be in exactly the same why would I soil myself forget a bit about soiling myself um, but I could just lie in bed all day and be exactly the same position yeah. as I was if I go to work and slug my guts out yeah it's really like you were saying before though about your like, work ethic you don't want to lose that totally right? yeah yeah totally. I mean so you're not you're, you're not doing this just because you fucking got no other option like take us back yeah i mean you were in the co corporate sector before yeah yeah this. yeah so before i invented cafe races i was uh <laughs> and the ipod and the ipod yeah, yeah yeah i like my i studied fashion and left university and i was really crap well i just didn't turn up to university let's be honest and um i so i knew i was never going to get a job in fashion and went and got whatever job i could ended up getting a job at hmv and when i got there i just worked my ass off like i found a work ethic turns out <laughs> 
that when people give me money, I actually try. Yeah. <laughs> Unlike education, where they're not paying you, so you don't try. And um, yeah, I, I was, I did really well, became a manager, and then and HMV, uh, HMV, yeah. Yeah, 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 and then became the person who trains managers and moved into training that way and then I ended up moving into fashion because obviously I had a background in fashion um, and then I moved into the automotive world and worked for Volkswagen which is a bit of a weird jump but training's training right yeah, yeah, it's kind yeah. of like if I've got a job that I can do anywhere why don't I do that at Volkswagen because I was yeah, at yeah. Volkswagen yeah. that and the reason you don't do that is because no one else at Volkswagen really likes Volkswagen. Yeah. <laughs> you're, the, you're the only one like, isn't this brilliant? And everyone's like, no, it's not. <laughs> and they're like, oh, yeah, this is a job here. Um, but they, you know, I did really well there. Then I got headhunted by ASOS to kind of be uh, a head of training for them. And so what were you training? It's primarily, it ended up being, yeah, I mean, I ended up doing leadership stuff, you know. Okay. Um, uh, I did, you know, I had to do everything along the way, really. But I think the bit I specialised in, 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 or, or ended up specialising in, was leadership. And um, yeah, so I still, I when I got to ASOS, um, I realised that I absolutely hated working for other people. Yeah, mainly because I know better than everyone else. I mean, you, you invented know, the fucking is, yeah, exactly, so. you know, Once you got that under your <laughs> yeah. belt. Uh, it's hard to go back and um, and yeah I, I quit my job and just I'm very fortunate that I knew lots of people then in different businesses and was able to sort of just pick up a career in um, training for other businesses and, and then eventually kind of graduated to like speaking at conferences and stuff like that excuse me that's the shandy um, and so yeah I that's kind of how I made my money and that was all really cool and then obviously COVID happened and killed all conferences. I was like, I said yeah, to you course. earlier, I was in yeah. Houston doing a conference when they shut the borders and I had to kind of fly back. Not Shit. before I went to Houston radio. Though. Yeah. <laughs> it was, that was probably the best weekend of my life because <laughs> I'd, no one else on the conference had built in a cancellation policy. Right. But when they sent me the contract, I was like, oh, there's no cancellation policy on this. They're like, oh, right, sorry. Do you normally have that? I was like, yeah. yeah. They're like, what do you have? Thank I was like, two fuck. weeks. I know. Yeah. And it's mad. And I got them to put it in. And it was only when we were at the hotel when they were like, the rumor had gone around they're yeah, going to cancel yeah. the conference. And I was with some of the people speaking there. And I was like, oh, they won't cancel it because there's no way they cancel it and, and still pay us all. And they yeah. were like, oh, we won't get paid. And I was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> so I was like, I still got paid. You for won't, it. you chumps. Fucking brilliant. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, and so, yeah. yeah, that's kind of, and that's really lucrative. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I was, yeah. talk, I was <laughs> speaking at like Deloitte conferences and AIG insurance. Um, like big old businesses who who have more money than sense, like yeah. you, you know, and so, but the, I hated it. Like, be, yeah, so I mean, there'll if, be people watching this saying, "Well, if you're not paying yourself a wage from Boyd's, why don't you just go and do that?" Yeah, I know. I think that's it, you know, it's. I really hope that not, none of my people who've been on my training stuff or anything like that hear this, but like, you feel like you're stealing a living. Like, there's no right. way like you truly deserve the amount of money they give you to just kind of stand up in front like yeah. to just basically pretend you're the most confident person in the room like that's right the, that's the secret of that gig right yeah yeah most of it like someone once said to me oh, how do you get into training like this i'm like well just be willing to stand up in front of people and tell them how to do the job that you've never done yeah. before like yeah yeah it's Shit. Fucking, like how much is how much bottle have you got yeah you were saying before like a lot of it's like confidence mm, like yeah, training 100%. people to have confidence yeah yeah. yeah, and so like, I am good at it. I recognise that I'm way better, like, if it's like what percentile are you in the population at doing that job, I'd yeah. be in, like, the very top of it. Like, yeah, I would, yeah. Like, top, pretty high up. You pretty much invented game. it. You yeah, invented yeah, yeah, the job, yeah, yeah, so... Yeah, 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 that's my <laughs> thing, yeah. But, like, whereas screen printing, I'll probably be, like, you know, not anywhere near yeah. the top, like, okay. against screen printers. Like, it, it, that's probably the thing that I'm best at, but it's the... Th I don't know, like, to me, I really value getting home from work and feeling like I've produced something. Yeah. Like purpose, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, totally. Like I'm tired, my bones ache, I've done something today and I, I you know, I don't get that. It's like I say, it's different. You get an adrenaline mm -hmm. buzz when you're about to walk out and speak to like a thousand people. Yeah. It's, it's mad, you know, yeah, 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 um, of but I don't know. Yeah. I like the money. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. But yeah. I get you. Totally. I like with tattooing, I kind of, I saw it's all kind of recent and I seen a, a video like my good friend Shane Enholm he, he like read this um, DM that he'd got from this female tattooer and she worded it so right and I think it's kind of similar mm. and she was saying that like even you know as tattooing it's so like 
you're not contributing anything. Mm. You're just feeding people's vanity. Mm. And that doesn't change the fucking world. There's no mission in there. You know yeah. what I mean? It, there's nothing. There's, so and I, so I, my point being, I often feel the same. And that's why I'm trying to, you know, cut back on that. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I totally get it. Because it's just that feeling where you just, yeah, you, yeah, you're making a you good living and whatever, but you don't have that kind of like, that was a day of graft yeah. there. You know, yeah, like yeah, it's, yeah. It's funny, isn't I it? I think like, as men, like, I don't want to get into the men and women thing, but I think as men, you do need it. I think it's very important, you know, yeah, to have yeah, that yeah. kind of... Because women are shit, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only joking. I really yeah. like women. I do like women. <coughs> um, but, I'm a fan. Yeah, yeah, you're but, a fan of their work. No, like, I think it's it's in us, you know, in DNA. I think, you know, oh, you, exactly, like, yeah. you know, we would go out, like, back in the day, we'd go out and fucking hunt and we'd do, you know, and it's like, you need to feel accomplished. Yeah. Do you know what? I, yeah. I think, yeah, it's funny. Like you saying that's triggered something in me where I like, I know that um, a big driver in me is feeling like I'm doing something good, like as in produ- producing something I can be proud of. Yeah. And it's not something that I don't care if anyone else is proud of it, but it's something that I'm proud of. Totally. That's what I'm getting at. Yeah. yeah. You and can sit back and be like, yeah, that's, that's all of me there. That's good. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. And I felt like with training, probably because I'd, I'd run the same talk over and over again yeah. i would know like the exact like joke that i would drop in like totally. i would know the like little thing the little banter thing that people yeah. be like oh, this is this guy is so good yeah. and it's like so, in my head i'm like oh my god i, I like said this in th- this totally. very room half an hour ago to a different group yeah. but like and like say you feel like a real fraud and it's not and the people are getting value and i'm sure the people there's many people who've been on stuff that i've done who are like that's really good and i see people sometimes they're like oh my god yeah. i saw you in so and so and and that's amazing but uh, but for me personally i didn't i couldn't stand back and go like oh i'm really really proud of that yeah but yeah 100%. but obviously if people want to pay me loads of money to do that still then I, it's still, I'm, it's, still it, taking on work yeah yeah <laughs> like, yeah so i'm still doing i'm doing a gig in portugal next week um, I and uh, but I really only do stuff that is um, abroad. Abroad, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Basically, I get a free holiday out of it now. So if they're like, "Oh, this conference is in London," I'm like, "Stick that up your." <laughs> uh, and I was like, "Where's this one?" They like Portugal. Like, where in Portugal? Lisbon. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, that good. we'll do that one. But no, that's I'm good at that. But yeah. I don't want to do that. Isn't that funny? I, Isn't people it people say it to me all the time. Yeah. yeah, you've got such a good job, and you can do it whenever you want. You can work the hours you want. You make all the money and all all the shit. I'm like, yeah, but I don't get the same happiness as when I'm doing this. Yeah. That's yeah. it. And you know I think I mean? that like Boyd's, even though I've never taken a penny out of it, has given me more satisfaction than 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 that ever did. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. And and I'm in I'm in a privileged position to be able to to do that and still do the occasional bit of training here that can just cover my my bait I or I screen print for other people or yeah. I buy and sell cars and bikes which i absolutely love as well and um and i you know i hustle to make a living and that, yeah. like there's nothing like in my mind buying something at one price and selling it for slightly more is one of the like just most simple and elegant ways to make money in the world but right? isn't it so funny how people shit on it yeah, yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. like you're like like you're the fucking devil for doing that you know i can't yeah. believe you bought that 10 grand and you sold it for 50, 15 how dare you yeah, like yeah but you know, like, everything you just bought from asda yeah it's the exact that's, same thing yeah, that's yeah. how commerce works yeah totally. that's how the whole fucking work yeah like you found it you saw the value in it. You, well, you saw that you know it was going for a good price. You, you know, you travelled. You got yeah. it. Like you put in the graft. Yeah, totally. You, know, you deserve to be fucking compensated for I it. Think it's so. Uh, I I totally like same with parts. Mm. You know, a lot of people now be like, oh my god, parts are so expensive now. I can't believe it. You know, mm. everything. You know, there's inflation and everything. You know, yeah, and, they, yeah. and it is what it is. And if people are willing to pay fifteen hundred quid for them fucking panhead tanks. Mm-hmm. There you go. Yeah. yeah, or you or you wait. Like that's yeah. the that's the choice. Totally. Right? Like yeah. you I once had this um a VW a type three square back that I needed a new interior for because it had bucket seats in it when I got it. I yeah. could not fit my ass in it for <laughs> love nor money. And so I was like, I need an interior for this. I went to type three detective place at source parts and they're like, Yeah, it's like a thousand pounds. I was like, Oh jeez, I can't afford that. <laughs> And I just waited, and yeah. I just waited, and eventually a, a, a set came up on eBay. I love that. 99p starting price, so I bid like 300 quid. I was yeah. like, I'm having this. Yeah. And I got them for 99p. Really? Yeah. Holy I go, shit. Yeah, I had to drive up to like um, somewhere near Shrewsbury or something like that, and the oh, guy was just like, I I've just left them over my back fence. <laughs> I love that shit. I think he couldn't even look me in the eye. Yeah, like, yeah, I was taking yeah, it for a yeah. quid. But, you know, like, 
the guys who I would have paid the grand for that their job is to source that and go, yeah, yeah, that, and that, that's that's their cut. So yeah. anyone can go out and buy a a WLA. Anyone can go and buy a WLA. <laughs> But anyone could, you know, that there is those bargains out yeah. there, but you've got to be on it. Like, yeah, every some, day. Yeah, every, every day. Yeah. day got, How does he get them? Yeah. He's, he's on it. Yeah, but yeah, like, yeah. that's the first thing I do in the morning yeah. is I check Marketplace, Instagram, yeah. like uh, yeah. eBay. I've got my saved searches. Mm -hmm. I check every single one. Yeah. I have a van. I have a yeah. uh, trailer. I'll go and get it. And yeah. I think, but also I think what really works for me, which I think is really cool, is, is trading stuff. Like, yeah. that's you get where that there's buzz? real value in that as yeah. well, because... Um, Classic cars, classic motorcycles, the value is completely subjective or objective? Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Uh, objective. Objective. Objective, friends. Uh, no, maybe it's subjective. It's one of those two. I think it's, it's objective. The one that's yeah, just, yeah, it's yeah, yeah. In, in the eye yeah. of the beholder. Yeah, right? totally. So, yeah, that's what I meant with the, the tanks. Like, yeah. if someone's got the money there, they want it that bad. Yeah, that's totally. That's how much yeah, it costs. Yeah. And I think sometimes if you're swapping stuff, you're, you know, sometimes your desire for the thing that you want, you go, well, I really like that. I've got this thing. I really can't be asked to sell that or I don't want to miss out on this. Yeah, so yeah, I'm totally, just going to go totally. for it. And, yeah. and they'll take a bit of a value hit potentially or they value what they've got differently to what you've got and yeah. stuff. And I've done really well out of that like yeah. where I've just been like, what, what's out there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Show me what you've got. I love like, a part X. Yeah, I yeah. love it. Yeah. And even like straight swaps where I've just been like, give us a swap. What have you got? Like yeah. that... Um, yeah, the Grand Prix went out earlier. Yeah. I swapped that for that little hot rod. And... and, uh, and it's, I felt like that was such a good deal, but yeah. then the guy who bought it absolutely loved the hot rod. And it was yeah, so great. he felt like he was getting a good exactly. deal too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But, it, you know, and I think that's that's a really cool way of doing it as well. Because yeah. for me, my passion for cars and motorcycles like is is it's like an unquenchable thirst, right? Yeah, yeah, I yeah. just want more, I want more of them. Yeah. I want to drive them. Yeah. I want to use them. I want to take them to bits. Yeah. And not be able to put them back together and ask yeah. someone for help. Like, I want to do all that stuff. Yeah. And that, I can't, I can't itch that scratch. Yeah, scratch totally. that itch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. It's it's ever changing. Like like I say, people will say to me like with the El Camino, oh, you can never sell that. It's like you just watch. In fact, when people say that to me, it makes me want to sell it. Yeah, more. totally. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's yeah. the kind of asshole that I am. Yeah. Like if someone says you can't do that, I'll be yeah. like, you just watch <laughs> me. just watch me do that. Do you, you feel know? like I know I, I don't have like a I can't I can't think of the word right now. Do you feel sentimental? Like, sentimental. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. I think sentimental is really unhealthy. Yeah, totally. I don't yeah. think that's yeah, I don't yeah, think that's like the right hoarding, way to be about like, stuff. But then. But then, on the other hand, like I've, I've just had a guy uh, message me recently for a Paned a round swing arm, mm. and he was like, uh, "So I had it up for like three fifty, and he was like, uh, oh, well, this guy's got just sold one, and it was freshly powder coated, and mm. he got two fifty for it." And I was like, "That's cool, man. Go go and buy that one because I love these parts so much. Yeah, like, yeah, I don't yeah. mind not selling them. Like, just mm. holding on to them and look at them and." Yeah, smelling yeah. them like yeah. I'm fucking weird. Yeah. I don't care if I don't sell it. So yeah. give me the money or, or don't. You know, yeah, 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 totally. Value. And yeah. I think that's it. There's like I don't smell my parts. You but you know what I mean. You know that you smell. smell you know that smell. The saddles. Like, you smell the yeah, seats yeah. you've got. <laughs> 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 yeah. But I think. <coughs> yeah, I think it's like I said, my friend George would always say, "Oh, what are you going to name this bike?" I'm like, nothing. I've got has a oh, name. Oh, totally. Yes. Yeah. yeah. It's just it's it's don't get me wrong. I I love them. But no, I don't see them as people or anything like that. No, I totally. Really yeah. appreciate them for what they are. And, and yeah. I, they're, yeah, it's, I think that's healthy, right? Yeah. But, you know, I've, I've lost everything before. Like I've, you know, I've had to sell everything. Yeah. Um, we, you know, we got really financially in trouble during COVID and stuff like that. And um, I had to sell everything. And I think yeah. you it would kill you if you were like that. And I think in, yeah, a way totally. that, in a way that chipped off the edges even more, that just made yeah. me go, everything's fleeting. Yeah, totally. but and you've got it all back or mm. well, you know or, well maybe not all more. but you know, no, yeah, more, yeah, more, yeah definitely more and yeah. we, we had to sell out we've sold our house yeah you know we downsized like we've we've gone real back to basics and just tried to cut off all the chaff do you know what i mean isn't, just, isn't it freeing do you feel so, like for me yeah. i i we did the same mm. and i we had like the house on the uh like the street where we live in in the little village um I'm not a millionaire, mm. okay, but it was called Millionaire's Row, mm -hmm. yeah. So I managed to just, just like what we said yeah, about parts exactly and cars. I just found the right house at the right yeah, price yeah. at the right time, and they needed it, you know. And I swooped in, and we got it. It was, it was two houses like put together. Mm. We had the nice car on the drive, you know, and everyone would be like, "Wow, you live up there." That was it. Mm. When we were in there, I was like, "This is really expensive. Mm. It's so fucking hard to." 
keep clean and yeah, tidy yeah, and all that yeah, shit. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Anyway, so we've downsized from it because I realized I don't give a fuck what anyone thinks. Mm. Like, yeah. I don't buy things for you to go, no. wow, you're cool. Like, you mm. know what I mean? And what a fucking weight yeah. lifted. Just like. I, I also really felt like we did the same. And like the day we moved into that house, the people on the, like who lived on the street knocked on the door like, oh, it's like, we're having our street party today. Yeah, yeah. And everyone brings food along. Yeah, and yeah. One of the guys plays guitars and that. And I was yeah. like, fuck off your like, nonsense. Oh my God, that sounds awful. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, I, know, I like, have friends yeah, already. Like, yeah, it's <laughs> like, I, I always felt like, that's me. And if any of my neighbours listen to it, I love them all. No, um, but, you're not neighbors anymore. But I just really like, yeah, I felt yeah. like actually these aren't my people. Yeah, you know, totally. and yeah. this is why the hell have we done this? And it's totally. cool. Like, I love where we, we literally moved 200 meters up the road. Yeah, but it's gone from like the nice area to the not as nice area. Yeah. And I feel much more comfortable there. Totally. I love I love Bedford's. That's why I'm the, the mayor of Bedford now. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> Two people DM me say it, like when I put that story up, they're like, oh, the mayor of Bedford. I'm yeah. like, is he? Yeah, yeah. I'm not. The mayor's a really massive fat guy. You know? <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, I don't know why I said that. I just, I just don't like him. <laughs> yeah. It's fat everywhere. Yeah, yeah. But he, uh, <coughs> um, I love Bedford, and what I love is that our house is right in the middle of town. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, like, I'm yeah. a town guy. Like yeah. I tried to do living in the country. We've literally like, done the same thing. We've yeah. done the same thing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 So now I can, can like walk to the shop so exactly. quickly. Yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. I can go to the well. I can send my kids. Yeah, yeah. Someone can <laughs> yeah. walk to the shop. We've got robots now where we are. Do you know what really? I mean? Really? Yeah, you can I've get seen robots them. to bring you stuff like Holy that. Shit. We don't have them up north. No, no, no. We'll see how they get. We've only just started wiping our asses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. baby steps. Yeah. Man. Baby steps. <laughs> but yeah, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't even know how we got onto this. Yeah. But we should talk about motorbikes or something at some point. I don't yeah, know. yeah. I mean, mm. when, you down, when you downsize, it gives you so much more free money to spend on motorbikes so. that's it yeah yeah yeah, yeah. i think yeah. that's like people look at all the stuff that i've got here like wow that guy's got like loads of money so i literally have like probably 500 pounds in my bank account yeah. right now my, my mortgage is double that yeah in like two weeks <laughs> so and i don't i don't yeah get you're paid. just irresponsible yeah, yeah, that, yeah. Oh, that i mean paid yeah. at the end of the month like yeah. i'm picking up a shovel head on monday yeah. <laughs> and I'm, then it's I'm like, definitely gonna send you some money for them t-shirts <laughs> uh, yeah but you know it's like but I've got all this stuff here and yeah. that's the pressure that I have to put on myself because I could just sit there and um, just let the world go past a little bit and just do the bare minimum. But like I say, I'm, that's, I might as well be dead for me. That's, yeah, I, that's yeah. the biggest yeah, fear 100%. for me. Like yeah. I, and I've had jobs um, where I've worked places that my job has seemed so pointless and that's part of the issue when you work in like learning and development training like no one really wants that yeah yeah so I, i've had jobs where i've just gone to work and been on the internet all day yeah and i've been senior and paid really well and i've yeah. gone and i've at the end of the day i've gone holy shit yeah i've just been looking at mobiles all day <laughs> no one's asked me to do anything i'm just going home now <laughs> and that is so depressing like yeah. you think that sounds amazing yeah it's, like, it's the opposite i get it all the time clients be like oh yeah no i, I work for the whatever really really easy money i just watched netflix the whole shift i'm like i would kill myself yeah totally i, I could not do that yeah like, i'm not wired that way like, no no not my at all. biggest fear with with boys which is probably why i put so much pressure on myself is that it becomes that it becomes routine and yeah. and and i i i work hard like yeah. i'm here yeah. on my own no one's checking me no one's yeah. checking on my work yeah i'm here and i work from the moment i walk through the door so i don't eat lunch i i just come in i I normally have a, fri I have like slim fast in the fridge. So yeah. I occasionally, because I get, we were talking about earlier, I get migraines. Sometimes yeah. I don't eat anything. Um, so I just go, go and have a slim fast shake and carry on. And like, I'm dead on my feet when I get home. But that's a great feeling. Yeah. yeah. Like, well, again, like, yeah, because then you feel like it's a fucking, like, a job well done. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, like, yeah. So like when you chill out, you know you've earned it. Yeah, definitely. It, kind of definitely. Yeah. 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 And it just allows me to, to enjoy, you know, like motorcycles and and, and you know in a, in a way yeah. that i you know spend as much time with them as possible yeah, totally. you know do you, do you find it hard to switch off yeah yeah absolutely it's yeah, constant. yeah my brain doesn't um yeah. if i i have to have a fan on um, yeah when i go to sleep so there's right. noise so i don't hear yeah myself think right i have to listen to rain mm. like yeah, on, yeah, the, yeah. on youtube <laughs> <God>. <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. It's really boring yeah. <laughs> 
like we didn't all yeah, yeah. fucking invent the iPod. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So you should check out this thing I invented. Um, but I think, yeah, like it's part of the mania, right? Yeah, like, totally. Yeah. I think um, Tom from Thirteen County said, like on this on this other podcast, I won't mention. So you know, what I mean? yeah, but he said, like you know, if you want something doing, give it to a busy person because yeah. they will, they just will knuckle down and they'll just go, oh god, I've got to do that as well. Yeah. And they might whinge about it, but they'll still do it. Yeah. I think, yeah, that's... What podcast was that? Uh, it's called The Brand Social. So it's like right, for okay. cool. clothing brands. Right, cool. So it's actually, they're screen printers. That's the only time I've ever spoken to another screen printer. And they were right. like, so what kind of uh, inks do you use? And I was like, I don't the know. The yellow really. ones? Yeah, I was. <laughs> that's like such an... Like, they were like, what screen printer press have you got? And I was like... It spins. It's like black. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I literally knew that. It was quite embarrassing, really. Uh, yeah. Mate, yeah, I get like with fucking stuff. like... You're like a imposter syndrome. Imposter syndrome. Mm. I get that sometimes with bikes and shit. Like sometimes just on this, mm. I just edit out. Well, mm. when I used to edit myself, mm. uh, like they'd ask me a question, I'd like, uh, oh, totally the, the twisty one. I yeah, don't fucking yeah. know. You know, and then I'd feel like a fucking dick. I was like, shit. Mm. I so, think like I think I'm glad. Like I'm I'm a little bit older than you. Um, you grow out even that. Bit. Do you know what I mean? I yeah. think when you hit thirty, you step <laughs> stop caring about what other people think. Yeah, right? and I think that only increases when you get over 40 and yeah. like, I couldn't give a fuck like I accept now that I am there's stuff now that I will not learn in my life yeah 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 you know yeah, I've, yeah. there's not enough room. if I learn everything there is to know about motorcycles I'll forget how to tie my shoelaces there's like yeah. I'm like that SD card that's like yeah, yeah. bulging with data now so like just so just, wise it's cool just yeah yeah so wise <laughs> such I mean, a big deal think about all the things that I invented <laughs> like my contribution is huge to the so, world really, yeah, yeah like you i i just have the utmost up respect for people who really do do yeah. that and yeah like i really love um building bikes and tinkering with cars and, and and all that kind of stuff i don't think i'd ever build another car again like i say i think it's it's too much um, yeah, especially if they're like rotten or something yeah. like say you get underneath it and it's you didn't spot it when you were buying it and like you've got a fucking well like that, yeah, yeah 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 like you know building a car can take like eight years and yeah. I'm like I say I'll be 50 by the time it's finished like yeah. I'm, I mean I'll be I want to be in a retirement home when I'm 50 <laughs> I want people to be feeding me wiping your yeah, ass yeah yeah exactly yeah. I definitely don't want to just have just finished yeah. that card I've been working on <laughs> no thank you um, so it's I, I I know that I can't do everything and I've got much better at that now like I've got this um iron head chops that i've had now for a couple of years and for the first time like normally i do everything myself yeah. like right from like right the way down to paint which obviously is crap there's only a certain standard you can you yeah, can do um but that was my thing a bit like with boyd's like to a fault sometimes i'll try and do everything myself and with this iron head i was really like do you know what actually i'm gonna take advantage of the real talent talented people that i know yeah. Yeah. and actually get everyone to, to do some of it as well and um, I've just been collecting parts for it. Um, and hopefully, as soon as I finish that Evo bobber yeah. that's down there, that'll be the next thing to go on there. Sick. And I kind of want that. I say I say that it might not happen, but that was always my intention to build that as like the Boyd show bike that yeah, cool. will stay. Yeah. Oh, I'll probably say <laughs> thing is, you can't, like a show bike's only interesting for like, what, six totally. months? Totally. If that now with Instagram, mm. like it used to be, like for six months a year yeah. when like you would only see it at the show and you yeah. see it in Backstreet Heroes. Yeah, yeah, Now with Instagram. Look at fucking James's knucklehead. Yeah. That is the most underrated, amazing yeah. knucklehead build yeah, yeah. I've ever seen. Yeah. Like, how is that not everywhere, you yeah. know? But it's because there's just so many. And yeah. it's, you know, and like, and people's like attention spans now are just yeah. so fucking short. I also, I also think like... I That's a beautiful bike. I'm saying how amazing it is. Yeah, it's, it yeah. is one of the it's, best out there for sure. Yeah. Um but like, I think that's the mistake that some brands make as well. Like, um, it's a really cool brand that I, I don't even know if they're still around anymore called Death Machines of London, which is a fucking cool name as well. Yeah. And they had this in amazing bike build that they mm. first did. I can't even remember what it looks like now, but I remember it. It was that good. It was so good. <laughs> but it was like they built this bike, probably cost them 50 grand. Yeah. Launched their T-shirts. Incredible. Probably graphic designers. Yeah. So cool. So like, oh my God, these guys yeah. are the bee's knees. But it was almost like six months later. It's like, hey, remember that bike? We've been yeah. It's like, yeah, yeah, we've, uh, we've seen that now, mate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, it's yeah like, what's next? They're yeah. like, oh. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> the, the bike? Yeah. You know, it, it's like, 
Yeah, you cannot make it a changes a so quick. Yeah, and like, I mean, think about the big fat rear end choppers. You know, mm. like you know, they're gone now. Like you know, they, there's like they've there's guys there forty grand bikes. Well, they spent forty grand, and they're like getting seven, eight now. Like it's crazy, and it's they say it's going to come back around, but who knows? Yeah, man. who knows? Yeah. yeah, maybe. Well, maybe it won't. I yeah. think, but it's it's, moves so fast. It really like, does. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I think like that's <coughs> with with boys i think what it's been like every we've clawed our way up to where yeah. we are do you know what yeah. i mean we've never done this big gesture where it's been like look at this fucking awesome yeah, thing totally, that we've yeah. done like yeah. we've just turned up and been present to every single show that anyone who's into the kind of stuff we're into is possibly yeah. going to be at just put down the boot leather because we don't have that i'm not a good looking guy i'm not like like you're supposed to you're so fucking yeah, thanks, like man. you're so That's hard on yourself yeah took a little bit longer you are that. i mean for right. a 50 year old man you're a good looking <laughs> guy <laughs> yeah. no yeah. Are you, you're you're not, but, you know what i mean there's you're, nothing you're pretty on the inside yeah yeah thanks man thank you <laughs> sorry, my sorry. insides are a mess though. <laughs> I just we just ate deep fried oreos yeah. man everyone did <laughs> but, uh, the uh it like there's no like we were talking about earlier, like some there's like brands like Spitfire Speed Shop who've got like I guess Tom Hardy's their friend, so they get yeah, yeah. him to wear a t-shirt yeah, sure. and yeah. just that's their brand. Yeah. And and fair play to them. And I, but all my fucking friends are absolute just losers, losers, absolute losers <laughs> who've achieved nothing in their lives. So I can get my friends to wear t-shirts till the cows come home, and it won't sell me a damn t-shirt. Oh, like one God. of them could just get an Oscar. You know what I mean? <laughs> and so we have we had nothing to hang it other other mm. than just working hard like and i, yeah. I always kind of, I kind of say like hard work beats budget yeah yeah right? yeah totally. and, and it will take us 10 years to get to the size of probably some of these you know some of these brands out there but i hope that that has more longevity yeah totally when we do get there because yeah. we'll have touched more people <laughs> yeah. 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 but you you will like that that's so many jokes man yeah but um <laughs> Yeah, because you, you'll have more of a foundation. Mm. Like you'll mm. not, you'll have a better foundation than yeah. these quick. Yeah, yeah, know, yeah. You can't just you know. knock out enough. These big gestures like will yeah. only just last so long. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. Yeah, totally. yeah, yeah. yeah. But, and you are doing so much. I mean, like you put on two shows a year. Mm. Mm. You've got that fucking bike night that has f- like four hundred people turning up. Yeah. I'd never heard of that before. Yeah. Have you? Like, do you I know? Yeah. Do you mean, know another bike night? How many times? When? How many? Once a month, once a month. Yeah, yeah. I don't know another bike night anywhere mm. that has four hundred people turn up to it. Yeah, that's insane. Yeah, it's mad, isn't it? Yeah, like and and people have asked me like when we first did our first bike meet, it was in the centre of town in the Market Square because yeah. that's where our first shop was, and um, we so the council I, one of that's one of our customers actually said you should do a bike night in, in the thing, and I was like oh, maybe I just kind of mm. thought I don't want to hassle. Yeah, I don't want to have to worry about other people. And um, I went and spoke to the council and they were very supportive. And on Sundays, there's always been like the, the scooter boys used to mm-hmm. have meets in the market square. And I knew some of the oh, like the scooter boys who established that. So I kind of reached out to them and said, hey, yeah. look, is it OK if I do a meet? I'll do it in the afternoon. So we don't I don't want to tread on yeah. anyone's yeah, feet. Yeah, they, yeah. Know, they've got grandfather rights on that. And I don't really do anything there now. But I yeah. certainly didn't want to turn up with a load of choppers to totally do anything. Yeah. Um, so I was hopefully respectful of that. And so the council like, so how, you know, how many people do you think will be in? I said, like, I don't know, like 50 or something like that. And, yeah. and 350 turned up for the first oh, one. And I've crazy. Not, and, and how, like, so do you, do you ha, like, how? Okay. Yeah, do, do you mark it like crazy on Facebook? Or I do, do you I always, just, have you been here so long that you know everyone? Like, no way, like at that time, yeah. especially like, um, we do, I do a Facebook event every time. And I generally, like, you know, you can boost an event and yeah. I stick on like, a quid a day so if it's if yeah. i do it in a month i'll put 30 quid down yeah, yeah. and then i push it on our instagram yeah um and and you know I, I do nothing more than that yeah um and and so i don't really know how i certainly that first one i was shocked like the guy from yeah. the council came to the meet on the sunday <laughs> and he was like before he said this gonna be like you liar <laughs> yeah. like it was in it is in the center of town like yeah. and all these old buildings there and it's just the noise was just a r- r- echoing around yeah. town it was yeah. amazing yeah and uh, he was like, and I was like, I'm sorry. And he was like, don't apologize. He was like, every one of these people is here, filling up with petrol, getting a coffee. Yeah, yeah, doing that's that, it. Like putting money. And people had come from, you know, yeah. miles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was just like, what the heck? Yeah. And, but people got there and they were like, I didn't have, we didn't have a store there or anything like right. that. And the shop was like around the corner. People were like, so, <laughs> 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 so what, what, what do we do there? I was like, 
zip. Yeah. Uh, which is still kind of what happens to me. But like, I think people were kind of like, I don't know what they thought was going to happen. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, then when we moved, when we shut the shop down, um, we just stopped doing it. And I, and a local um, patch club sort of said to me, I said, they said, oh, what are you going to do with that? I said, take it on guys, like by all means. Like, yeah. it, it's a great yeah. thing. Yeah. And uh, it'd be good if someone else could yeah, do yeah. it because yeah. I couldn't be asked to do it without the shop. I'm, I'm, I was only really interested in making money out of people. I'm yeah. not there. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm, yeah, I'm yeah. only joking. <laughs> uh, but they like just couldn't get the traction with it. And they were yeah. like, what do you do? And I was like, I don't know. I yeah. don't know. I really don't know what, yeah. Yeah. what it is. And, it, and then that's continued with, with the meet that we do now. It's a really broad church. I think just a of, fucking big deal. Just a big deal. <laughs> just the thing, the big, the, the fact that I invented cafe race is probably I mean, that's away. definitely, and the yeah. mayor, and I'm the mayor. Yeah. Um, but I think it's just, it's a, a combination of, it's a great location. Like it's really yeah. easy to get to, good food. Um, yeah, I mean that new location where you are now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, we just That's went, crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, that's, yeah, I can see what, yeah, that would it. be a big draw, mm. but because still like, 400 people, like, yeah, a bike yeah, night, that's yeah, insane. Yeah, yeah, um, and we get, you know, I think we're lucky we have the support of like local motorcycle shops who will do ridings and stuff like that, but yeah, yeah like I say, it's a, it's a bit of a, a, a unknown, how, uh, it, it, you know, if I could be as successful marketing the brand as, yeah. as that, but it's yeah. such a good, I think. But that must help. That yeah, must, I must, think so, yeah, yeah. I think so, I think people see it and know. Like I say, it's so easy for someone to start a t-shirt company now, like just be good at drawing, which is the one thing yeah. I'm not good at, and, and then get the t-shirts um, printed, like print on demand. Like yeah. Anyone can start a t-shirt. And I think people like to see that there's real people behind it, but it's not a money-making thing. Like that, we, that was everyone's advice to me with the product. They were just like, oh, just, I can't think of any websites, mm. but the, the print on demand was. Mm. And I, it's just gross to me. I'd just mm. rather it be... Yeah, I, th I think you, there's real issues of quality and stuff like because yeah. you never see it. It goes straight to the yeah, customer, totally. so they must just be like, uh, mm, yeah, mm, wipe their nose. Yeah, on yeah, the yeah, yeah totally. <laughs> like they don't care. Um, so it 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 doesn't do it for me. But I yeah. think it's good. I think it's a good jump off point for some people. I think hopefully what it does is there's a lot of people who think it's really easy and then yeah. they do that and then they go, oh wow, no one's buying anything. Like yeah, because it's it's really hard. Yeah, to yeah. start a clothing brand. Like, yeah, totally. It's uh, like I say, it's very saturated. Everyone yeah. sells t-shirts, um, so yeah. But the, so the meets really help in uh, yeah creating community, and we genuinely do. I think it's hard. Like naturally, there's some cynicism around someone. You know, a lot of the people you talk about on this on this podcast that they're people who who build bikes, and 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 it's purely for the love of it. <clears throat> Whereas I can't say that really. Like I've got a business, so in some people's mind, who's, who's this person who wants to? make money out of the community yeah. right yeah, and yeah, so yeah. i think it's just as important that we do do stuff to put back which is yeah. why we do the meet which is why we do the shows our shows are only five pounds to get in and stuff yeah. like that it's it's that, it, that's crazy and is it a, how, how how is it a weekend or is it a day just a day yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. still so crazy like 11 till five, five or that. yeah it's crazy yeah, and people still whinge about it. I'm like, go and try and park in town for. Yeah, totally. That's, that I was literally about to say that. Yeah, 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 yeah. totally. But um, it's. I think that's important. I think it's part of part of us as yeah. as, as a brand is is to be like, if we're going to take money from the community, we want to feel like we're giving something back. Our bike meets. We. It's amazing. The busier they are, the less money we take. Really? Yeah. I think why, like why when that? it gets there's so many bikes to look yeah. at, so many people around. Yeah. That it it just gets a little bit like overwhelming or yeah, yeah, yeah and okay. like we can't talk to everyone so like yeah, when, when you, yeah. we've had when it's a bit raining we've only had like 150 bikes yeah when you can spend more time talking to people and they can actually have an opportunity to look at what's funny yeah. our sales go up so yeah, makes sense. um i need to alienate some people somehow yeah. so i'm gonna just i'm gonna start like <laughs> dropping in like some kind of slurs yeah. and like stuff like that <laughs> Just, just reduce down. But we're a very broad church that we do. We, we, it is an all types meet, so it's not a purely a chopper meet. And I think that's that's also important to us. Yeah, hot rods, not cars, not though. Or? We can't fit them in there. No, it okay. gets, yeah. Honestly, it gets so rammed. Like it's we don't that's control. That's a big car park. park yeah, as well, we like. don't control the parking. Either. We used to try and like park people. And we're yeah. just like, I oh, just park wherever you want. Yeah, yeah. People like triple park, block. Yeah. Like you have to talk to people to get out, which is part of it. It's like, yeah, yeah you're gonna have to go and. Talk to someone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't come to a boys' meet and just stand by your bike. Yeah. It's not allowed. That's sick. You know, you have to talk to. People. I love that because yeah. I think that like that change needs to happen. Mm. You know what I mean? I'm pretty quite passionate about that. Like not just like. Yeah. And and like people do come along and and I think they know actually this isn't for me. Like that does happen. Yeah. Like, yeah. but it's but we still get the. Well, it's friendly people. Ugh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but I think what's lovely about it is 
there's people who come to our meet on groms like they, you might yeah. get a load of groms turn up one week or some scooters or like we had like you know and they'll come and they, and they as long as they have an appreciation for the vehicles there like that it doesn't matter do you yeah, know what totally. i mean like yeah, yeah. that's to me you can't pull the ladder up behind yourself like yeah you can't be like oh no we only do like, like so and so bikes yeah like it doesn't work like that and i think that's happened a lot in the hot rod yeah. scenes like it's all about has to be the right vehicle can't be fiberglass has to be steel yeah, blah, yeah, blah, yeah, blah, yeah. It's like, yeah that's cool but there's no 17 year old who's paying 28 yeah. grand for a yeah. 32 ford coupe yeah. it's like those people won't be allowed to play i see that happening in the uk the uk chopper scene anyway you mm -hmm. know like mm -hmm. like i'm trying I, I really try and put i get people messaging saying oh i really want to build a chopper but i've only got this 800 intruder Mm -hmm. Like, have you not seen Lane Splitters Boulevard? Like, mm -hmm. they fucking, like, they make insane choppers out. You know, it doesn't matter what you've got. Just mm -hmm. fucking, one, ride it. Mm -hmm. And two, just fucking do whatever you want mm -hmm. with it. It doesn't matter. But people think, well, all those cool guys at the top, they've got the shovel heads and they've got the fucking pan heads. And, you know, how am I going to get a knucklehead? You don't need a Never. fucking yeah, knucklehead. Yeah, yeah, you don't yeah. need it. Yeah. Just build your fucking bike. Yeah. Make it you and fucking ride it. Yeah, That's totally, it. man. And also, on another note, I'm no marketing genius. Don't name a bike an intruder. <laughs> like, it sounds so <laughs> aggressive as well. It's like, Ugh. yeah. Do see, I like don't see that. I, I see like a like anal intruder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's yeah. like, yeah, oh, yeah. You like, and you think that's a positive thing? Because I was coming from that as well. I was like, I don't want to ride. That. Yeah. <laughs> but if you want to ride the anal intruder, then that's your. That's I mean, I'm not judging, man. I mean, but it's, it's I've got no comeback. <laughs> but, but yeah, totally. Like I, like I, I, I love it. I really. Um, I'm really into like, and I think that's happening a lot more in the States now is people are doing, yeah. are doing Jap chops. There's a really yep. cool thing. Ah, it's called like the scumball rally or something like that, where I think they get a thousand dollar budget to build like a chop. So yeah. they're all Jap stuff and like yeah. they have to ride a certain distance. And it's, I'd love to do something like that. Yeah. I talked to Jack at Idle talk about doing something like that over here sometime, but it's one of the things that I'd set it up and then have no time to build the bike. Yeah. I'd be like, yeah. I'm walking then. You know they, they do that with like a car thing, don't they? Yeah. That's, yeah. yeah, that's yeah quite, you you yeah, got to yeah. buy it for a grand or something yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I love stuff like that. Yeah, totally. Um, we don't have enough stuff like that. And considering like everyone goes on about how small the UK is and whatever, but like France is right there. Mm. Like we can literally get across oh, that yeah. fucking, you know, like yeah. the Nomad lads, they've gone, you know, yeah. doing what they're doing. Mm. I mean, it makes fucking perfect sense. We could do any kind of... Mm rally trip whatever yeah, like that, definitely yeah. definitely yeah, yeah yeah i think like um yeah I, I don't know whether it is the fact that the scene is so small that it means that it gets a bit more elitist because it's that little it's almost like i you know i go to hook up go to 101 run go to any of these i could name a, yeah. a big percentage of people in there so you kind yeah. of you're exposed to the highest quality of things all the time so there's yeah. that there's that fact that you're like oh i can't compete with that and yeah it's funny, like I have such a short attention span. Like when I was buying that um, Jeep pickup, and the guy was like a, a nuclear engineer. That yeah, thing is cool, by the way. Yeah, yeah. If anyone wants to buy it, um, it's cool as fuck. Yeah, 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 yeah. And the guy like was really nice, yeah. really nice. Uh, I really enjoyed spending time with him. But I was like, I need to just record what he's saying because all I can think about is I can't wait to drive this thing. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, so he's telling yeah, me like yeah. every detail yeah. about all the stuff that he's done and stuff like that. And I was like, this is really useful information and, and, yeah. and whoever ends up buying this is really going to need to know yeah. this but yeah. i just keep thinking just give me the how fucking cool keys yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> i just want to see if i can do a burnout <laughs> and uh, and yeah it's it's great because uh, you know <coughs> if you're buying some of someone like that it's like this person's been taking care of that same with that the uh, wla there like yeah. the chap allen i bought that was such a nice guy I was there at his house for ages yeah um the, his attention to detail and i was like wow like that's it's not that i don't look after stuff yeah. Uh, no, I do. And my stuff is all absolutely awesome. But um, <laughs> like someone like that, you know, they've gone to the nth degree yeah, totally. and, and checked yeah, everything yeah. over. Like that's, that's they have an eye for detail that I, I don't. I don't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I like things to look rough. Like I love your, like, your fucking Pontiac. Like, mm. I, like I wouldn't do anything to that. Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. Anything, obviously, like you said, like the gearbox. Like, yeah, you know, maybe nearly killed us before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah but, like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. But like the way it looks, yeah, yeah, it yeah. needs nothing. Yeah, it, totally. It's fucking perfect. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. That's But that's our thing is always keep them running, right? It's yeah. like use the thing. Like totally. I, I, I'm just more focused on using it and yep. um, I'll maintain stuff and I'll fix it when it's broken. But I'm not really like the guy when I bought that Jeep was like, oh yeah, it comes with this whole different engine. And he's like, this is the four liter engine. But if you do a head swap, it can turn to like, 
like it ups the horsepower to blah blah yeah, blah, yeah. blah 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 and i just like <laughs> give me the fucking keys. yeah yeah yeah. It's like, yeah yeah that is never gonna happen yeah. Yeah, the keys. Yeah, yeah yeah and so now like i'm trying to say I'm like, oh by the way it's got another engine and they're like oh what's well, something wrong with it you know no you can do something <laughs> where there's like uh just contact is the guy yeah, yeah. Before, he'll be able to explain it to you but, you know i i uh i'm more like i'm not I'm never. I'm not into fast bikes or yeah. fast cars yeah, or totally. anything like that. I'm like I'm into yeah. cars and bikes that you can use. Yeah, and you look good. Yeah, looking cool. So <laughs> yeah. there's, you, there's no point in going fast in something that totally. people can't see. You. Yeah, totally. So you totally. got to be going slow. So you can... <sighs> all these morons. That, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll never see the mayor in exactly. a fucking. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. So yeah, that's definitely <laughs> that that where that keep and running thing comes. Yeah, in, I love is, that. Is, is just like yeah, like why would you? why would you bother machine polishing something so you're so scared of using it when you could just be out there driving a the thing and just yeah. focusing on making sure the thing works you know you were saying something before and i think it applies to bikes as well um but mainly old cars like when we we're in your car and you were like showing like the the little tiny fucking triangle window and you, were, yeah. you said that nobody makes cars with fucking love anymore mm -hmm. it's just you know that's yeah. so fucking true yeah everything's so like uniformed and, yeah. and it's that car <laughs> that was built with fucking love oh my like God. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah. It's, like, it's isn't the seats the, when the seats come forward mm. and they like i thought the seat had broke mm. but it hadn't it mm. just folds that way so you can get out easier mm. yeah where did the fuck you think why do people stop thinking about stuff yeah like totally you know what i mean like stuff why do they that, stop caring about it yeah 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 like it's nicer than a house like you know what i mean totally. it's nicer than my house that car yeah apart from it's bit, yeah. it smells old <laughs> But, um, I like the smell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like it's funny. All American cars smell like that. I don't know what they were doing over there, but you know they have intruders. Assistance there, yeah, intruders. Yeah. But yeah. yeah, like that. And and I think that's why I love choppers. Right? Yeah. Is they're they're unique. Yeah. They are every one is different, and you're allowed to express yourself. It's a it's as much about how it looks, and yeah. and I think that's the interesting thing. And like you say, the the almost the combat between engineers and uh what would probably be more considered artists and yeah. like the form over function thing and yeah. and, and that's mm -hmm. that's always an interesting battle with, yeah, with totally. choppers like, yeah yeah and what and that's why the ones that are the real top are the ones who can do both and those people yeah. are tapped yeah you know I mean? totally like, totally you know? they're just killing it yeah 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 yeah, 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 totally. yeah but they're generally mentalists if you can yeah. do both <laughs> if you can be super creative and yeah. super then you you yeah, are totally yeah you well, that's what like indian larry had isn't it yeah you know like all the, you know he, they didn't just look good like he wanted them to be fucking handle well and yeah yeah yeah, yeah. well we always have that like uh, me and dan have that debate like i and brano like brano's taking the front brakes off his chop and i'm like you gotta have a front brake man like yeah and 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 like i in my mind it's more of an interesting challenge to make a front brake look good yeah you know, yeah than true. It is to just take it off yeah um i get it i get that it looks better like that but it's like, but that, that where, you know, yeah. if, you know, stopping's nice. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, like yeah totally. I have yeah. to unload bikes here on my own all the time. And when he do, and there's like, some nothing of it, worse oh, than trying to, oh. yeah, fuck. Ah. Yeah. And it's got no front brakes. So. Oh, um, so fucking heavy. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Why do they make bikes so heavy, man? Like that WLA, no. so light. That's insane. What did they yeah. do? Well, you know, I seen you like, you know, like when you took it out of the van, you like oh, struggled. God, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I sat on it before and I was like, <laughs> what a wuss. <laughs> Well, what I thought was it bottomed out a little bit, yeah, which believe, is horrible yeah, with an expensive bike like that. <laughs> and so I was like that, and it went whip. But yeah, that it, is so light though. It's yeah, crazy. what's yeah. that is a beautiful machine, man. Yeah, man. Like yeah. that's um, like I say, I don't get. I'm not a show bike guy. Yeah. I do, don't get me wrong. Like I love some of the bikes that people we know make, yeah. like incredible. But um, like we go to Santa Pod a lot, and you have like people racing, car, yeah, yeah, yeah. like racing stuff. And I, I'm always more interested in the run what you brung stuff where people yeah. take their own stuff down. That's always yeah, yeah, more interesting yeah. to me. Yeah. Uh, and I think the car park is yeah. always fucking, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Or like, yeah. yeah, if you go to a, a bike show, like the ones that are in the camping yeah, spot, yeah. there's more, there's just as interesting stuff totally. there. And I think the WLA isn't generally something that would um, tick the boxes for me. But like, I went and saw it and I was just like, do you know what? Wow. Like, yeah that's yeah. just beautiful it's yeah, just so. such a beautiful thing uh, i'm really proud to own that for, for however long i get yeah. to own it for until i don't have any money left yeah. <laughs> Someone two weeks yeah yeah, 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 yeah. And, uh, <laughs> but it's, it's it's um it's really clean it's really nice mm. 
but I think it would look, it was one of them bikes that you could, if you wanted as well, you could just ride the fucking thing. You don't need yeah. to do anything to it. Yeah, yeah. Let it get fucking all mucky and mm. like breathe some life into it. Yeah. Or ah. or stick it in your garage and just clean it every day. Stick it in a yeah. bloody museum. You know, it's yeah. like, it's probably. It's fucking beautiful. Yeah. Buy it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, someone please. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, like it. It's the greatest privilege for me to be like the custodian of stuff like and that yeah. Pontiac. Like, if I get to keep that for six months, or if it goes in in a, like I had a shovel a few weeks ago, I sold it within like twelve hours yeah. of buying it. Yeah. It's like, oh, shit, yeah. I haven't even ridden it. Yet. Yeah, you're like, look uh, what I've got. I was like, yeah. Oh, that's amazing, mate. Yeah. Oh, I've sold it. So, yeah. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> why oh. show it me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I do that. I yeah. do that. Um, you can, you know, and I'll. All, but that's, do you know what? I, that's. Um, like I said, that's just the most fun thing. Like I get just as excited every single time. Like every single time I go to get something, whether it's that piece of shit Ford F two fifty out there that is that I'm gonna buy. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. Love yeah. That yeah. Thing. When yeah. that thing turned up, I was just as excited about when the uh, when I went to get the WLA. I, I, I that dopamine hit that I get from like the hunt and the chase and the back, like I love. It. Yeah, it's mm. I'm addicted to it. Mm. Yeah, like hundred yeah, percent. It's a great feeling. Yeah. And it's uh, and then we can sell it for a little bit more than you bought it for. That's exactly. even better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And sometimes, yeah. like I'll, you know, like I say, I'll do a trade and like so. No, it doesn't I don't make any money, but I get to experience something else. Yeah, totally. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. that and I get that hit. Yeah, yeah, you know totally. I mean? Chasing yeah. that dragon. Yeah, totally. Sometimes it's just like, oh, yeah. I need a hit. Yeah, you know, like <laughs> I tell you, I generally will put something up for sale for a couple of weeks, and then I'll be like, right, fuck it, trade, Let's trade. Yeah. I, like I've I've got my. Um, kicks out of this now yeah totally you know yeah sometimes <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, I've never had sex with a vehicle before but uh, <laughs> yeah but uh, you know I want you want that next thing in you want to I want to look at it I want to stare at it for a while you know you that smell like, thing when you walk away from your bike and you look back at it and yeah like, like that yeah. like when it's when you've not had it long and you still haven't learned every angle yeah yeah, yeah. like yeah. you still there's still you still notice stuff on it yeah. you're like oh yeah I've not seen it when the light hits there yeah, yeah. I love that bit yeah the exciting the new relationship buzz yeah totally yeah. that's how i it's how i keep You're my right. marriage yeah yeah yeah, yeah. That's how i keep my marriage straight is by yeah. that like, i'm only joking like jess is awesome man she's the hero of the boys piece jess is really? yeah like when for a long time like when all the training stopped when i had like a mental breakdown yeah. when we had to shut the shop and to start with jess was at home and I was running Boyd's and Vintage Suit Hire on my own. And then when that, uh, she lost her mum and then I had a mental breakdown. And so everything turned on its head and she ended up going back to work. And I kind of just did like, Boyd's restarted after that. And I yeah. really just fannied around for the first yeah, yeah. couple of years, like finding my feet. There was you had no, a break, didn't you? Mm, it's yeah. the, it, like Boyd's died, didn't it? Yeah, really? yeah, it was yeah, over. Yeah. It was done. It was. Yeah. It was done. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, I was, I was just like, yeah, let's not do this anymore. And then we crowdfunded to bring it back because people wanted to. I had people like offering to buy the brand and stuff like that, but I was kind of, of course like, you did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Predators. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. But I was really like, when people did, I was like, you know, there's no brand. Like, there's nothing of value here. Do you know what I mean? Like, it there, was, is. <laughs> there is. There is. <laughs> yeah. Say it God. all day. You, you totally undersell yourself. Yeah, but it's. Yeah. Uh, Jess basically kept our family, yeah. you know, Legend. fed and and a roof over our heads long enough for me to kind of become a functioning member of society. Again. Legend, and yeah. Like that's, and it is a flight of fancy. It's still a flight of fancy. And now yeah. I'm lucky mm -hmm. that I can hustle enough to find to contribute and to pay mm -hmm. my 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 way. But I, I, like I say, I still like I can't imagine like if what it must be like to have your partner who goes to work every day and comes home knackered and like refuses yeah. to pick up their dirty pants because they're so tired. Yeah, when it's yeah. like, oh, cool. Yeah. What did you do to that? Oh, yeah, I printed 200 t-shirts. Cool. How much money personally are we getting out of that? Absolutely nothing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely nothing. But it does mean that we've got a super cool workshop yeah. to hang around in. And it's like, do you want to come to the workshop? Jess is like, no, I don't. No, it's, it's fucking there. freezing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but it's been like, we, when we first got it, we like had a barbecue here yeah. once. <laughs> and it was like they came on and said like yeah we prefer our house yeah. like it's much yeah. nicer um the nice end of town yeah yeah <laughs> yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah. that's good though i mean that's i think that's it, especially being the type of people that we are mm. like i have the same thing with, mm. with leanne yeah, like really lovely and and she is kept 
everything going in, mm. in similar times like that, mm. you know. Mm. Like it's and it's it, we don't need to go into it, but if I can the more people I speak to, the harder it seems to be to find these like not women, but like relationships where mm. two people kind of click, you know, like that. Mm. And when you're feeling when you know, you can't always both be you know what I mean? 100%. Like killing it, you know? Yeah, Sometimes yeah, yeah. someone's fucking falls down a little bit and the other mm. one has to pick up the slack. Mm. And mm-hmm. yeah, I mean, I feel pretty sad for. <laughs> so you can see some people get, you must get it. Like some people get a bit jealous. Mm. Like, oh, my wife punched me this morning. <laughs> <laughs> <You know? laughs> yeah. I, yeah, absolutely. I, lo- I love it when someone, like, like, there's an old romantic in me now. And like, I see friends who are in relationships that aren't working and I'm like yeah. willing them to break up. Like, <laughs> I can ditch that loser, man male or female and then when they find someone really like i'm like yes yeah and i'm like i feel like now i'm in a successful relationship yeah i again feel like i'm like i know exactly yeah how well you to make relationships. started relationships <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Yeah. i'm yeah. like i'm pretty i'm a pretty big deal in yeah. the relationships world uh and so i somehow feel Consulting. like I'm, yeah, yeah, yeah 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 i feel like I, i'll i'll allow this yeah yeah you yeah. know it's funny but genuinely like the support of a, like you say a partner who ebbs and flows of you like yeah. with, with life like there's like Jess freeloaded off me for like a whole year when we had our child yeah. and God. she was like not working how rude know, like yeah, Jesus absolutely <laughs> lazy yeah 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 and I will not let her forget that yeah I will not let her forget that but uh, yeah she's a, an absolute saint an absolute saint yeah man mm-hmm. sick thank you so much mate this has been great yeah, I hope had fun. Was, well, I feel like we've just we've basically just done this all day yeah, long. Like yeah, we should have just we should have just been filming all day way long. Better. I was way funnier earlier when yeah, before we started. I bit, didn't want to say filming but, this yeah. as well. Yeah, there was some absolute bloody brilliant <laughs> stuff earlier. But, uh, the jokes that you created. <laughs> oh my god! Like, that you started. Oh my god! I'll be <laughs> laughing to myself in bed tonight. Uh, I'll be there too. Yeah, <laughs> spooning. Thank you so right. much for coming on, mate. Thanks, I really man. appreciate Thanks it. For Thanks for coming and visiting. Mate, I've had such a good man. time, honestly. Awesome. Thank you. Cool. Awesome.